here we're continuing on with pointers we've got an example but this time we're going to use a bit of arithmetic so we're going to have the pointer go through an array point by point okay different uh, memory addresses and then display the results which is located at the different uh, elements in the array okay so we start the same way include stdio we open the main function and in defining it we we de we declare an array of type integers and it's going to hold three elements so it's going to hold one two and three okay like i mentioned arrays they will start at point zero and then this is point one and this is point two three elements but it always counts from zero okay it doesn't start from one so that's we have to make sure that that part is clear okay now we start the pointer we are given the pointer a value of integer we put a star in front we called it PTR and we put we we put nums which is the array we put in it inside the pointer now what that means here is that we're assigning the address of the first element it's like saying you know PTR equals the first element in the array so it, it basically was, it was saying point at number one sorry point at this here so it's starting at this location okay we have to tell it where to start where the pointer will start and here we're saying printf ptr uh, address so the pointer address percent p the address in memory and we're saying the value which is percent d which is what what is the, the value that's stored in that memory address and we like we mentioned previous when we we don't put the star it gives us the address the, the actual memory address and when we put the star next to it it reads the value it tells us what's stored inside where where the where it's actually pointing it it tells us the value that's stored in that memory address okay so we've got that part now what we want to do we want to step through the array so what we do we tell the, the pointer to increment by one to add one to its location so it moves the pointer to the second element so now the pointer is here it will move to here okay and we say right print the address of the memory again we use the percent p and pr print the value that's stored in that memory percent d it's going to be an integer value and we tell it again like i mentioned when we don't use the star it gives us the address of the location and when we use the star it gives us the value that's stored in that address and again for the third element we do the same again we step through it and it moves to, to, to this section here now that's the last section because that's the third element and it gives us the address and the location in the fourth line in this section here now we do something very interesting we are saying right subtract two that means move backwards two so it goes one two so it should move back to one again and give us the exact same address as uh, the first example here first um, sent line here of printing so it should give us the address percent p and the value in percent and percent d to give us the whole integer okay now this is like saying just for those that might have forgot when we put a minus minus equals two it's like saying ptr equals ptr minus two that's what basically this uh, means so this is shorthand when we put minus two here or or, or or plus equals two that means you add two okay so that's clear. So that this this example is finished now. Uh, dealing uh, with point arithmetics, we call it. And we're going to build. See if there's any errors. No errors. Fine. Close that. And now we'll move on to DOS prompt, command prompt. And we'll call this one point matics point matic dot c so you can see where I'm g actually uh, getting the name from is up here so there's c examples pointer 
point thematic dot c and we don't put the c at all here okay because now we've built it it should be an executable file so as soon as I enter it it should give us the value straight away so as you can see here it says the pointer address is 1576FFF2 and that stores that the value that's stored in that location is 1 next one is F4 and value is 2 and then 3 and then it goes back to F2 again and it tells us the value is 1 so that's where the point is now in the first element again and it reads a value 1 okay we'll move on to pointers and arrays in the next lesson